Okay, so we're going to go back to thinking about the cane toad invaders article from earlier and how mutations affected their population. If you still have your annotations from before, go ahead and bring those notes back out. What you're going to be doing is you'll be posed a question and then reread a segment of the article to answer that question. The first question to write or listen for is what was the change to the cane toad environment? Huge poisonous toads have invaded Australia. Humans brought cane toads from Asia to Australia in the 1930s, hoping the toads would eat beetles that were destroying crops. Unfortunately, the toads didn't eat many beetles. They ate almost anything else that could fit into their mouths, however. The big toads grow up to 22 centimeters, 9 inches long, and weigh up to 1.8 kilograms, 4 pounds. Cane toads are extremely poisonous, and no Australian predators can survive eating them. Without predators in their new environment, the cane toad population began growing and spreading. Okay, so what was the change to the cane toad environment? The change was they moved from their native environment in Asia to Australia. They had many new food sources in the beginning and no predators to eat them. Your next question to listen for. How did the environment change affect survival? Because there are so many cane toads in Australia, they compete with each other for food. The cane toads are eating everything in sight, so food becomes scarce in any area where they live. To survive, cane toads have to keep moving into new areas with more food sources. The first toads to reach new territory get to eat all the food they want. Slower toads are stuck with whatever is left. Time to write and discuss. How did the environment change affect survival? When the environment changed, there wasn't enough food for all of the toads after a while, so the toads began to starve and die without food. So for your next question, write or listen for, what caused stronger legs in the cane toad population? Recently, Australian scientists have been finding cane toads with bigger, more muscular legs. These bigger legs can be traced back to mutations that change the toad's genes. Scientists compared the big-legged toads to ordinary cane toads. They identified several gene mutations that gave the cells instructions to make protein molecules that were different from the protein molecules that other toads could make. These new protein molecules affected the cane toad's legs, increasing the leg size and strength. So, what caused stronger legs in the cane toad population? Mutations of the toad's genes caused them to make different proteins. This led to a new trait, stronger legs. So, Writer listen for next. What was the effect of stronger legs in the cane toad population? Having bigger legs is an adaptive trait that helps cane toads survive in an environment where there isn't much food to go around. Bigger, stronger legs help these toads outrun other cane toads and be the first ones to get to the food in new areas. With better chances of getting food, Big-legged toads are more likely to survive and reproduce. Because of this, they are also more likely to pass on their mutated genes to their offspring. Along with these mutated genes, they pass on their adaptive traits. What was the effect of stronger legs in the cane toad population? The stronger leg is an adaptive trait because frogs with stronger legs are more likely to eat food, survive, and pass on the mutated strong leg trait to their offspring.